in one of the most consequential decisions of our republic where President Jacob Zuma was sentenced by the Constitutional Court um, because of the contempt of court case brought by the gentleman who wanted to be the Chief Justice of the nation. We're, going, we're still going to see how that pans out because he, must, he might be, still be selected by the President despite um, recommendation by the JSC for... Uh, Justice Mayor to be the Chief Justice, right? In the center of this was a letter, a letter written, which we initially knew that they, they, in the media they said that uh, I think Karen Mon wrote an, uh, an article stating that uh, Chief Justice Mwen um, Mwen sent a letter to Jacob Zuma. For him to just explain to the constitutional court as to, hey, how would you like us to punish you? Just give us, um, you know, an indication of how you'd like us to punish you. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, former Chief Justice Mogweng Mogweng was on um, ENCA interview by JJ Tabani, and he stated that he is not responsible. He is never the one who wrote the letter. Just says, hey, letterheads from the Constitutional Court would state uh, who the Chief Justice is. And uh, it wasn't him. Okay. So it's now quite fascinating with regard to letters. I don't know who, when you guys last received a, a letter, really. I mean, unless if you get one of those letters from the financial um, service institution, Maybe wanting you to take a credit card and uh, promise you uh, heavens and all of that, you know, or all these pesky uh, governmental letters coming your way. I mean, that's the last time you'd hear people talking about letters. They're on the internet now, and I guess it's a practice in um, legal circles. Don't don't uh, ask me as to how do they uh, deliver these letters to. Uh, folks that they're writing letters to, right? And uh, speaking of letters as well, the post office, I saw the former CEO of post office, uh, Mr. Barnes, I think his name is John uh, Barnes, um, talking about how he was want to get a consortium that would then maybe have a major share holding in the, to the South African post office, talking about essentially the, the mining of the data of the post office, I mean, it has all the addresses of everyone in the Republic. There's Post Bank thing going on. The SASA um, and uh, a whole lot of uh, activity that are happening at the post office that if it could be managed well, there could be a whole lot of money be made out of the post office. But anyway, so here we are. Former President Jacob Zuma wrote a letter. He responded to the Constitutional Court. Well, we still have to find out as to who wrote that letter now. Okay. So President Jacob Zuma responded to that letter. And the curious thing about all this uh, exchanging of letters, you would think that after President Jacob Zuma writing a letter, responding to, to we'll just say, uh, Acting Chief Justice Han Pepe in, 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 in this instance, because we don't know who until we find out. You would think that after President, uh, former President Jacob Zuma writing letter to uh, Judge Han Pepe, then the judge would then write back to President Jacob Zuma saying, hey, okay, you have stated that hey, you don't want to entertain the so-called Zondo Commission because of this reason that you've given. And um, here's what we're doing. But it doesn't happen that way. It's like the, the, the letter is now being replied by all these judges being in the Constitutional Court stating that um, former President Jacob Zuma now is guilty of contempt of court and he is then to be sentenced to jail. I think it was for 15 months. Which was something 
uh, sort of a severe judgment, let alone the fact that uh, even, even though the Constitutional Court judges essentially went against the Constitution, which state that nobody is to be uh, detained um, and arrested without a trial, okay, in the, in the Constitution. And one of the other things, one, they wrote a letter, we don't know who now, since our, our former Chief Justice Mogwai Mogwai state that it's not him who wrote the letter. There's where they sent a letter to oh, President Jacob Zuma's lawyer, as well as the, the friends of the court, I think they call it the Amicus Curiae and in Latin, and saying, okay, now we also need an explanation with regard to the international laws, your United Nations and International Criminal Court laws, and yes, the United Nations law with regard to a person being uh, detained and arrested without going to, 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 to the court of law. As you know that the Constitution, I don't think there's anyone whom the Constitutional Court has ever sent to jail without them having their day in court because normally you'd know there would be a case that would be in a magistrate court and a high court and so forth you know in simple terms president jacob zuma didn't go to court and argue his case with regard to the contempt of court case at the constitutional court at lower uh courts and um I remember uh, um, former, well, Justice Hampepe stating that they, because of the president's stature, uh, as him being a president and number one citizen, I'm just paraphrasing, they had to have a detour. They had to departure from the normal, from the norms, and um, in order to treat the president and um, come up with the decision of him being president. So in simple terms, he was treated different from other citizens. Okay. So I'm just amazed and being surprised that this huge uh, consequential case of a president being sentenced to jail, we now know and heard from Chief Justice Mugwem Mugwem, that he's not the one who wrote the letter to President Jacob Zuma to give an explanation of, how, you know, sort of a mitigations of how many months or how would you like to be punished. You know, if you look at it, it also sounds kind of special. It's like me being in contempt of court and getting a letter of stating that I should explain how I should be punished. I probably I'll just say, I don't want to go to jail. You know, that's just me, you know. So we'll just see how this thing is going to pan out. And uh, the precedent that it has set of somebody being sentenced to jail without having their day in court as per our constitution. And I guess we're going to keep up stock of how many of this uh, law in our constitution would eventually get to the constitutional court and the constitutional court judges uh, giving a different view as to what's written in that little booklet of the constitution. So that's just my take. My name is Mamuji and thanks for watching the Mamuji show and I'm out.